Hi friends, it's Dana here. Today I'm reading a book to you that I promised my good friend Liam I would read to him probably like two months ago. But I've been so busy reading summer science books and back to school books and important knowledge-y type books that I didn't have time for these fun books about dragons who love tacos. <laughs> but I am ready for fun again, so here we go. Let's read this book for Liam called Dragons Love Tacos. It's by Adam Rubin and illustrated by Daniel, Daniel Salmieri. Here we go. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and tiny little baby tacos as well. <laughs> Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Maybe it's a secret. Either way, if you want to make friends with a dragon, tacos are key. <laughs> hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? But wait. As much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate spicy chunky salsa and spicy smooth salsa. If the salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just one single speck of hot pepper makes the dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragon, dragons the tummy troubles, and when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes, check. Lettuce, check. Cheese, check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big, gigantic parties with accordions and tiny little parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the con comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you'll need buckets of tacos, pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill it with boat, the boat with tacos. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's how. And that's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your taco party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music, they love the decorations, they especially love the tacos. Congratulations. It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy. Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? Totally mild salsa. Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Huh. Dragons, listen to me. Don't eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, they are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are gonna love those tacos. You're not gonna love those tacos. Oof. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos. Crunch, crunch, crunch. <sighs> Oh, no. 
Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. <laughs> All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that story. I think I have a few dragons in my house that also don't like spicy things. Do you have any dragons like that in your house? <laughs> Thank you so much for reading with me, friends. Bye.